These fathers are among the five people murdered in an Orlando business today. The one on the left lost his wife six years ago. The one on the right was married and had two granddaughters. The man who lost his wife several years ago now leaves behind a 17-year-old and a 14-year-old. And we just learned in the past 10 minutes another victim, 69-year-old Robert Snyder, was just one year away from retiring. He was also a father of several adult children. Police identify the gunman as 45-year-old John Newman Jr., an Army veteran who's been in trouble with the law before for crimes such as drugs, DUI, and battery. Here are six mug shots over the years. Police say Newman went into his former workplace, Fiamma Incorporated, near downtown Orlando, and opened fire. After killing five people, he killed himself. Tonight, we're covering this story from all angles. Lindsay Gardner has five precautions you can take to promote a safe workplace. First, we go to Channel 4's Janice Harris, live in Orlando. So, Janice, understand you spoke with a woman who works nearby and can't believe this is happening. Ken, she is absolutely devastated, but beyond that, every hour, more stories are coming out about how this tragic situation began this morning. In addition to that, survivors are saying that they're asking for people to pray for the family members of those who are now dead and asking the question why John Newman would kill his former co-workers. An Orlando community, distraught and devastated. I've heard deputies say this man, 45-year-old John Newman Jr., an Army veteran, killed five former co-workers and then himself. It's devastating. We have enough stupid violence in this world. We don't need people to do any more, hurt more people. Garcia says she knew at least one of the people who worked at Fiamma, an RV accessory business, but wouldn't give his name. The five victims have been identified as 44-year-old Brenda Montanez Crespo, 46-year-old Kevin Lawson, a married father of four daughters, and he had a grandchild. 53-year-old Kevin Clark, who was raising his two children alone since their mother died. Now they are left without parents. Jeffrey Roberts, a sales manager at Fiamma, and 69-year-old Robert Snyder. <laughs> A block away from the mass murder, families are coming to a reunion location to make sure their loved ones are not dead. One by one, hugs and tears. Seven workers survived. As one worker was reunited with his family, he was asked how he was doing. He simply said, I'll make it. I'll make it. Tonight, we're learning more about the 45-year-old gunman. He was fired from Fiamma in April. He didn't have any family in Orlando, and he had been violent at work before in 2014. Garcia says she's angry with the shooter and in pain for the families who lost their loved ones today. He decided to make everybody's life hell today. We all send our love and our prayers to the family and the other people that work there. It's going to be hell from now on. She again very angry with the gunman and everyone as far as survivors again asking for folks to pray for those who have passed away their families as they are mourning now live in orlando janice harris channel four the local station janice before you go how long did newman work at that company Deputies would not release the exact length of time, but they did say he worked there for several years. We checked with records with the county to see just how long Fiamma has been here. It has been here at this location since 2006. Ken? Janice Harris reporting live from Orlando. Thank you, Janice. Workplace violence happens more often than you think. Records show violent workplace incidents have tripled in the last decade. Lindsay Gardner has a look at who is most at risk and what you can do. Lindsay? Mary, this is a frightening trend, but I found today, according to national labor statistics, workplace violence is now the fastest growing category of murder in the United States. And it is the second leading cause of death for women while at work. Five people, four men and one woman arriving to start another work week at a small RV accessory business in Central Florida were shot dead by their former co-worker. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, working in small numbers is one of several risk factors for workplace violence. Others include working early in the morning or late at night and delivering goods or services. OSHA estimates two million workers in America are victims of varying levels of violence while at work every year. And while workplace violence is declining overall, the number of active shooter incidents at work 
are rising, happening on average once every three weeks. For many people in Jacksonville, memories of the GMAC mass shooting come to mind. Where eight people were killed, six others wounded. In 1990, the shooter, 42-year-old James Powell, was upset about his car being repossessed and was a stranger to many that he killed. The National Center for Victims of Crime found strangers commit the most common acts of workplace violence. Their report found shootings account for 76 percent of those growing workplace homicides. They found 19 percent of workplace homicide victims are protective service workers like your police officers and security guards. But even more victims, 26 percent of murdered workers, are sales and retail professionals. So what can you do? Well, a research report on workplace violence from the American Public University suggests several things. First of all, identify your workplace risk. We've got a full list online for you tonight. Also, use security controls like those badges and take workers' photos. Foster a culture of respect and trust. That's really important. And develop a workplace violence prevention program. And also, as uncomfortable as it is, you really should practice regularly active shooter drills. Mary?